Well, I was 24 years old. I really didn't have um, a great idea of what would happen or specifically this is going to happen in this amount of time. But I remember my cousin asking me, uh, how many years is St. Mary's going to give you? Basically, like, is, are they going to fire you after a couple of years? And I said, well, I'll give myself five and we'll find out if I'm cut out for this. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone around the St. Mary's community who ever doubted Mandy Pearson. The seventh year coach long ago erased any doubt as to whether or not she was cut out for the coaching world. She did this with on the floor results. And with the team's success came individual accolades. Pearson and the Cardinals haven't lacked in either department this season. The head coach of the year in the MAIC went to Pearson for the second straight year. Not to be outdone, the SMU players were well represented in the announcement of the league's awards. Six players would be recognized with all MIAC awards. Bridget Petke and Courtney Early were named to the all-conference team as well as the all-defensive team. Freshmen Miriam Awani and Emma Schaefer were named to the all-first-year team. Darcy Rice and Shelby Osseth were voted all-conference honorable mention. Early would also be named the MAIC's Player of the Year, joining assistant coach Jenna Freudenberg, who has also won the award. She knows that while recognition is not the primary goal, it certainly helps the program as well as the university. You know, then we're getting our name out there as a university and people are starting to recognize that, hey, what they're doing isn't just, you know, kind of down in Winona, it's, it's on the national level, uh, which I think is very cool for the university. I have a feeling that these accolades, while nice, will not be in the Cardinals' thoughts as they prepare for UW Oshkosh. This team follows the lead of head coach Mandy Pearson, who became the first person in MAIC history to receive back-to-back -back Player of the Year and back-to-back -back Coach of the Year awards. No small feat. However, she downplayed the accomplishment, even suggesting the award should be renamed Coaching Staff of the Year. The recognition the Cardinals received on Thursday is nice. However, it, it doesn't erase the sting of a home loss to Conference for St. Thomas. There's always a chance the Cardinals could have one more conference matchup with either the Tommies or the MAIC's other at-large bid, Concordia Moorhead. If there's one thing the MAIC has taught the Cardinals, it's that looking too far ahead or behind is simply not an option. So we were upset afterwards, but in this conference we all know you leave that game that day and you got to put it behind you. Just like how tough this conference is and how St. Thomas is a good team, you know, that we shouldn't, we weren't, like we were obviously upset about the loss, but we're not really like taking it like we're moving on. You know, it's the next game, you got, you got to move on, you can't dwell on the past, things like that. We know how good we are, we know that we are a good team and that we have the confidence to be a good team and that we are a good team and when we play together we're a great team. My senior year of high school, the best thing that happened to us is we lost the last game of the regular season. Is, Maybe. There, is there such a thing as a good time for a loss? Maybe. You know, I mean, that's what I'm going with right now because I hate losing. Only time will tell as to whether or not last Saturday's loss will go down as a good one by potentially sparking a tournament run. But the pass doesn't matter for the Cardinals. Regional host University of Wisconsin Oshkosh is the only thing that matters right now. SMU has been surrounded by support all season long. They'll look to take it with them into a hostile environment. They're everywhere you go, they're kind of just, hey, good luck today or good game or, or whatnot. Everybody's kind of rallying around us, which is a lot of fun. The Cardinals will be making their first regional tournament appearance in 28 years. They will tip in Oshkosh at 7 o'clock. It's fun for the atmosphere. You know, because people go to college and they want to have some sort of a, a, an atmosphere and an energy. And I think that's something that we've been able to provide for the campus that is kind of, it's going to be contagious. You know, there's other teams that are going to help carry on that energy as well. And, and it's, it's a fun place to be right now. For HBC Sports, I'm Ty Schwartzlow.